Welcome to Engineering Studios. From another video, we have introduced the arches and its application in the building and bridge structures. If an arch rotates 360 degrees, it will create a super strong three-dimensional shape, which is called a dome. People have been building domes for thousands and thousands of years. Domed buildings are everywhere. Mostly seen from churches, mosques, and government buildings. Trace back to the history, before the Romans, all buildings in the ancient world were rectangular or square-shaped. Enter the Romans. They had built a massive dome temple called the Pantheon. It was founded around 113 to 125 AD, which is nearly 1900 years old, still stands today. From a structural point of view, a masonry dome produces thrusts downward and outward. They are thought of in terms of two kinds of forces at right angles from one another. The meridional forces, like the meridians, or lines of longitude, on a globe, are compressive only, and increase towards the base. The hoop forces, like the lines of latitude on a globe, are in compression at the top and tension at the base. Domes are stable during construction as each level is made a complete and self-supporting ring. At the top of the dome, the meridians push together under the dome's weight, creating compression forces. Towards the bottom of the dome, the meridians are pushing outwards, stretching the dome apart with horizontal tension forces. At a certain level on all domes, there is an area that is neither in tension or compression. The tension and compression forces must both be dealt with to enable the dome to stand. The Romans had an ingenious way of dealing with the extreme compression at the top and extreme tension at the bottom, which is the rings at the top and bottom of the dome. The top ring is called oculus. Oculus means I in Latin. It acts exactly like an arch, except that its ends are joined together. The compression cancel each other out and the top of the dome is left in a state of horizontal equilibrium. At the bottom, Romans poured several layers of concrete around the base of the dome to deal with the massive tension forces. These layers are called step rings. They provide a normal force to push inward against the tension forces that push out. The rings also help to redirect the tension forces down into the walls below. Dome has been widely used all over the world. There are different types of domes from their architectural features. Dome can be classified from its appearance or shapes, it can also be classified from its cultural reflections, or symbolic associations. Bearing all those variations, the inherent structural principles from the Rome Pantheon, is still applicable. Thanks for watching, subscribe to keep updated, see you next time.